If this model fails on your 3D printer, it doesn't necessarily mean that your printer is broken. This is called the benchmark of 3D printer. It tests many features of your 3D printers, like overhangs, bridges, tolerances, etc. etc. So by printing this one model, you can see how many things are not correct. And in this case, you can find what you need to adjust to print properly your 3D model. Before we're gonna dive in into those benchmarks, you need to acknowledge one thing, which is very important in 3D printing. Speed doesn't equal quality. Even if you're gonna buy the newest, the most expensive and the best FDM 3D printer on the market, it will of course print faster and better, but remember that if you're gonna slow down your printer, the 3D model will look better in slower speeds than the faster speeds. Let's take a look on these benchmarks. This first one was printed on Bamboo Lab A1, and this is the same filament PLA Pastello Cocktail Green from Spectrum Filaments, so we can see all the features and defects from two different printers. As you can see, the first thing that comes to our attention is those two pin challenges. One pin is very small, like one middle diameter pin that goes up and then we should have a sphere and on the other one should, we should have like a cocktail shape. It's missing because printer was of course working too fast and it knocked down both shapes. Then we can see the bench on the top, it's very small bench, a mini bench, it looks pretty decent. It looks really good in my opinion. But on this pillar, we can see that on the, on the back, we can, uh, there is a seam that doesn't look very well. It's open and it's missing some filaments there. So probably the extrusion rate, it was too small. Next, we need to see uh, the retraction test, which are those uh, 10 small pointy things. And between them on the top, we should see small stringing. And there is some stringing, but it's minimal, it's like five strings, maybe six strings visible, which means that retraction is pretty good. So we don't need to adjust retraction. Adhesion looks pretty good because we have the spring test. It was printed perfectly, so no adhesion issues there. On the tolerance test, we saw that 0.3 millimeter in the XY direction is good, 0.2 as well, but 0.1 it's welded together as well as 0.05 millimeter, unfortunately. Uh, then we have the bridges. In, in my opinion, bridges went pretty smooth. They are not sagging down, so I think this was uh, done pretty good by the A1. The next feature is this arc and overhangs. It looks like after 45 degrees uh, angle, it starts to fail. It doesn't uh, cool down as fast as it should and the layers are just falling down. So probably too fast or the too hot. So maybe we can adjust the, the temperature, for example, of the nozzle or in, increase cooling or slow down the print. Then we have this small segment here that it's um, size test. And by checking it with the caliper, we can see that it's mostly uh, in, the, in the size, but the hole is four millimeters instead of five. So this is not good. And this is, and the last, this spiral shape looks pretty decent. I think it was printed in a good speed. Looks, everything looks mostly fine. So pretty good job for the Bamboo Lab A1. And the competitor, I'm not gonna compare printers here, but this is the Prusa Core one. And we had a little bit different uh, speeds here because we also used this uh, default profile for 0.2 and this is structural profile for core 1 0.2 millimeter. As you can see the pin test also failed but uh, it failed on the summer on the end when we started to print the bowl and the cocktail. So probably I, I will guess it was uh, just wrong temperature and speed or maybe retraction then the nozzle didn't lift before the retraction and changing the uh, place. So maybe this was the issue, but uh, nevertheless, it also failed. So it's here. Let's start with the uh, tolerances. So 0.3 loose, 0.2 loose, 0.1 loose as well, and 0.05 not. It's welded. 
Uh, then we have the spiral element. It looks almost the same like on A1. Maybe, maybe a little bit worse, I guess. So this is the, the result. Then we have dimensions. Dimensions on the outside looks the same like A1. And the hole, it's a bit better. There was 4.1, this is 4.3, so it looks much better. Uh, layer adhesion to the bed, pretty good. I, I would say even uh, too good because 0.2 uh, number was left on the bed, so too strong adhesion. Retraction test, a little bit worse, probably the too slow because the stringing or maybe it was a uh, wet filament, I didn't dry it. So we have more stringing on here, uh, so this is worse, but this was still two different spools, so it's hard to get uh, proper results with the two different spools. The benchy looks a little bit worse. I think it's extrusion issue, probably. But the pillar looks much better. The seam is invisible. So I think the seam uh, was pretty good on the core one. Bridges looks the same like A1. So no issues here. And also on the end we have these sharp edges on one side and round shapes on the other side. So we can see if it's lifting from the bed or not. And this was not lifting. So basically we have almost the same results, but of course Core 1, it's a little bit different printer. It's a Core XY, so it has uh, some benefits from it, like the better cooling on the overhangs. So on a, I think it was failing on 65 or 70 degrees instead of 45. So we have um, better results on overhangs. But in the end, you need to find the proper solution for your 3D model. For example, if you're printing minis, you need to find the proper speeds, proper cooling and proper retraction. But if you're printing something bigger, like cases or special brackets, then you need to adjust, for example, extrusion rate and temperatures for better adhesion. So don't worry about those models. Benchmarks should tell you, just like a Benchy, what to adjust to what type of print you're planning. I hope this was uh, a bit informative for you and you will find the perfect settings for your printer. In the next videos, I will try to describe a little bit more for each setting. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I hope to see you in the next video.